お前らを超えて海賊王になる男だ Alright guys, so you just bought Deep Woken and you're looking for a beginner guide. So I decided to make one and yeah, I'll be teaching you everything you need to know for a beginner. So when you fully watch this video, you'll actually be able to actually play and you're actually going to be able to progress without any trouble and you're going to know what to do. Alright, so let's get into the basics. So this is your posture, alright? When you block, uh, it goes up, alright? Normally, you you have to parry, and each time you parry, it goes down. But then if you hold F, and then you don't parry, um, it's just going to hit you, and then your posture is going to go up. So now, this is your health bar. This is your armor. Um, you're going to craft armor a lot, and every time you take damage, your armor is going to go down. And this right here is just um, a talent. Every single time you level up, you will get a talent cards. So there's normally 15 investment points. I have zero because I am max level right now. There's 15 investment points, and and in order to level up, you have to kill NPCs, bosses, or uh, monsters. And then you guys will have a weapon manual guaranteed, which you can use um, to uh, level up. You can only use it after you kill something. To, um, if you don't use it... Uh, what am I saying? If you don't kill something and you use it, it won't work. So now this is your ether. This is basically your magic bar. So every time you use a magic move, it goes down. Alright, and then this is your tempo. So when you're fighting someone, your tempo um, basically helps you regenerate ether. When your tempo is at 0%, your ether will regenerate super slow. That's only if you're in combat. Right now, I'm not in combat. Normally, if you're in combat, there's going to be a skull here. And let's talk about that. If you leave during combat, you die. And each time you die, uh, well, you just die. And you get back with another life. You have two lives before you go down to the depths. And I'll be explaining the depths later. So now, this is really important. You have your, hung uh, you have your blood your thirst and your hunger bar you need to craft food for it to um, go up so if you go to press tab by the way to view this little uh, cool thing and you go to recipes so these are all the recipes I've unlocked and you can just copy it down or copy yeah just take a screenshot of this and you can use it what's most important right now is a glider and I'll be explaining how to get one so yeah later in the video all right so now uh, let's see now when you spawn in you want to spawn in at Etrus because this is like where you're mostly gonna spawn in when you have uh, gotten good at the game another one is owls of vigils which you can practice with a uh, trainer which will help you get better but I'll show you guys that later so first thing you want to do is talk to this guy and then um, say how can I earn some money and then would you be able to spare me some cash all right this right here, bottom right, is your notes. It's called notes. And you get uh, you get to sell stuff when you kill stuff. And it will drop chests. And you can use the drop chest items to buy or to sell for notes. And right here is your knowledge. Each time you level up, I believe you get some knowledge. And knowledge can be used for very many, many things. And I'll probably be explaining that in another video. Because knowledge, you don't need to use knowledge as a beginner like it's only for like advanced late game stuff to like modify your build if you don't like it and you have strength fortitude agility so strength just um strength is used to get most cards for each build i advise you to get 25 strength and 25 agility and then the rest you could just put into whatever those two are the main things i'd advise you to put in and fortitude and uh the boons and flaws I recommend is obvious and autodidact. And each time you level up, you'll get like these things. Vitality, Erudition, Proficiency, and Sanction. And Vitality is your HP. The max is 6. I advise just getting this to max each time you level up. Erudition is like your ether regen. Proficiency is how much damage you do. And Sanction is your uh, magic damage. 
also known as a mantra. Alright, so after you got into money, you want to head straight into the blacksmith. Here you can get, um, talk to this guy. Oops. Yeah, talk to him. Don't worry, I won't rat you out. And you have to buy armor. It's get, like, you have to get armor. Like, the starting armor gives you 1,000 durability and 10% physical armor. That's amazing. Alright, so you have to get armor no matter what when you're starting out. Okay, so now we can head over to the bookstore. Now the bookstore is right next to the inn. Alright, make sure to remember that because that's where you're going to be getting your items to train your um, charisma, willpower, intelligence, agility. You can get the majority of books here. Encyclopedia trains your intelligence. Let's see, math textbook, intelligence as well. How to make friends is charisma. Weapon manual is your medium weapons. Now, the uh, whatever points you put in, the game is gonna guarantee you give you a starting training item. So if I put all my points into strength at, in the beginning of the game when I make a character, it'll give me a dumbbell to train strength. And this is the uh, what's it called? Oh, it's it's called the mantra shop, and you use this to get a mantra thingy. Now you're guaranteed to get this whenever you spawn in if you chose in the mantra. Okay, weapons. You can just buy weapons here whenever you need them. Flint. Or no, that's a bullet. Never mind. Uh, let's see. Over here. Uh, don't do this parkour yet. Just go around there and here. You want to go into this shop and buy flint. Flint helps you create campfires, which can be used to heal you. Alright, now this is the anti-aquarium right here. They have this little money sign so you can see. Alright, the anti-aquarium is just used to sell stuff. And now we're going to be actually heading out to our first island, which you can uh, level up in. So press control to slide, by the way, so you can get down faster. It's way easier just to maneuver and stuff. And these calabashes, they regen your uh, thirst and hunger. So I advise you stacking up on some food before you go out on your journey. Alright. You just want to head down this path real quick. Just head down here. Always make sure to press control when you're sliding down. It'll save you some time. And just jump down here. It's a shortcut. And this is a... Uh, a well where you can just drink from whenever you're low. Alright. Buy a... Get a ship. Get a dinghy. I still have a dinghy. I think it's like the best ship in the game. Because it's like small and agile. And it's free. And you can repair it for free as well. So now, you just want to go down to this little gate right here. Now, you might wonder that... How am I driving it so easily? Well, you just want to tap WASD. Like, just go tap it. Because I hate driving in this game. I wish they had autopilot. Like, for real. They have to add autopilot. Or a driver just to, like, drive you to islands. Because islands in this game are pretty far. So, once you go through here from this... That's Etrus, where you spawned in. And you want to go... Keep on heading to the left. Don't pass this little white line. Otherwise, you'll lose your speed boost. And it's going to take you like, I don't know, like a long time and it's not going to be fun. Alright, so now once you go straight to this little gate right here, you're going to be entering your first island. Where you can actually fight bandits and monsters and to get better. And a quick note that monsters in this game ha are pretty strong if you're a beginner like... Which most of you guys are because you're watching this video. Monsters have the exact same patterns, by the way. So, if you die to a monster, like, let's say, 70 times, eventually, out of those 70 times, you're going to learn and you're going to get better. So, it's okay to die in this game. Because this is a permadeath game. It's about learning and getting better over time. So, now we're heading over to our first island called Lower Arisia. I'll show you guys how to parry, how to block, and how to dodge. 
Okay, so this is a brain sucker. They're really annoying if you're level one, which you guys are gonna be when you head over to this island. Um, I'd say just if you see this thing, just press this button right there and return to the main menu. Cause if you're level one, you won't be able to kill it. All right, now you want to go here and be aware there's players that might try to kill you. Whenever you see a player, just press this. Cause I don't want you guys to die. To some annoying player who just wants to kill you for fun. Alright, now you want to come here. This is where you're going to learn to parry. Press Q to dodge, by the way. Press tap F, never hold F when you're getting comboed by a NPC. Because otherwise, your parrying won't work. If you don't know what's a parry, it's basically a perfect block. Like, if you perfect block something, it'll, it'll just, like, parry it. So, yeah, there's mud skippers here. They're easy. But for me, it took, like, when I started this game, it took me a while, so... Yeah, so now you can see my blue bar, my tempo is at 70%. Alright, when you press G, you can escape out of combos, but it takes your tempo. And your tempo, without it, you don't regenerate ether that much. Now, there's going to be a lot of monsters here, but don't be afraid. Okay, so you want to parry. It has, like, the weirdest parrying pattern. And after you parry, just hit it once. When it... Um, when it's comboing you like this, just try and run away. Try and run away. It's going to combo you up. And then try and get it down here. And then every single time you see his arm, like, swinging, just press F. As soon as I see his arm wind up, just press F. Alright, so after you press F and you parry, you immediately click. So then you can engage in combat. Now it's going to take you guys some time and tries to actually fight these things because they're really annoying. But once you get the hang of it, they're pretty simple. And you guys will get this, I'm sure. For me, it took me like three tries. Just driving back and forth from Etrus to Lower Rissia just to fight these things when I, on day one when I played. And yeah, these guys are really annoying. But these are the easiest NPCs in the game. You kill them. And after that, immediately use your weapon manual. Or uh, use your weapon manual, your dumbbell, your boulder, or any training materials you guys have. For example, just use your weapon manual after you kill them. Now, these are the actual monsters in this place. Alright, I'll show you guys how to fight one. Just for information in the future. But if you see these guys, just immediately leave the game. They will kill you. I suggest fighting these guys at level 10. And that's crazy because that's like half the level from max level. But if you guys don't know the, the attack patterns, it will literally destroy you. These guys have wiped me in this game so many times when I was a beginner. So when you see it, I'll just um, aggro it onto me. So like, okay. I won't, I won't kill it so you guys will like see how to attack. So that thing... Just press F, it'll auto parry it for you. That thing, he'll swipe twice. And then after that, if you see a red thing, always roll by pressing Q. Just like that. And you want to stay calm at all costs. And just react, see? Like, he's just trying to, um, like, he has the exact same parry patterns and patterns and dodge patterns. You'll, like, instantly be able to um, get uh, better over time it's just a matter of time and uh, dedication to this game honestly but it's worth it in the end because it's hella fun all right parry and then click you can click two times depends on your weapon for me heavy i suggest once for medium i suggest twice and for daggers i suggest three times Whenever you dodge or roll or parry, always hit it twice. For That's for medium weapons right here. This is the weapon I'm using. So now it's going to drop a treasure chest, which you can collect all the loot and sell it at the anti-aquarium. Boom, just like that. Now, if you have a campfire, I recommend using it. And always buy flint, by the way. Just set it up here, heal, etc, etc. And always make sure to use your weapon manual. That's how you level up. You're going to have 15 investment points here. Once it goes down to zero, you're going to level up. You're going to get cards. You're going to get magic. You're going to get a lot of stuff. 
Just don't give up. Alright, you guys got this. Alright, and there's also a mechanic called spitting. You just press T, it spits, it uh, regenerates your HP. And then another mechanic is roll canceling. So you press Q and you right click. Q and right click. These are just the basic combat. Q right click, and then you instantly roll really fast. And now this is fainting. You click, and then you right click. So it looks like you're gonna hit someone, but you faint it. Now this can cause a lot of confusion for PvP, and it's um, it's pretty it's pretty good because it gets people confused. So now you just want to climb up here. I suggest fighting those mudskippers until you're level five. Now you want to climb up here, and now this is where um, this place gets pretty dangerous up here in this, these parts. And by the way, there's a campfire, and there's random NPCs that will spawn and jump you at any time. So always be careful of that. Oh, these NPCs are actually easier to parry, but they do way more damage. Except the dagger ones. The dagger ones are so annoying. So you just want to parry and attack. Parry and attack. As soon as you see their swing animation, like, look. If I'm going to hit someone right now, boom. You should parry, like, parry, like that. As soon as you see someone swinging, like, don't even, like, don't even, like, um, what's it called? Don't even press F when you think it's gonna be the right time. Just as soon as you sw see their weapon go back like that, just press F. It'll work. This game, it's really easy to, like, parry stuff. So now this is a campfire that's always gonna be burning, no matter what. And there's gonna be NPCs here. Now, a good beginner tip is to assassination. What you want to do is press control and walk up to them and uh, left click. And then after this, it'll, you'll just auto assassinate them and they're going to be on the ground. And you can actually just kill them from there. I'll show you guys real quick. So if you keep on going up here, uh, if you keep on going up here, you're going to see elite bandits or yell, yell, elite NPCs. And you can actually assassinate them. Oh no, there's this thing. Let me just kill it real quick. You can't assassinate these guys because uh, I don't know why the game just doesn't allow you. And damn, I got pretty good stuff. And I recommend just using using uh, those stuff to sell and then to equip. Okay, so let me show you guys how to assassinate. So if you go up here, you can assassinate the game lets you do it for some reason all right so like this control and left click and then just hit them on the ground and then they're dead just like that all right there's gonna be people here as well beginners and you guys can try and become friends they might kill you but it's worth a shot to try and become friends because playing with friends in this game helps you out in a long run and progressing with each other is actually just more fun than just playing solo by yourself. Or there's going to be high level players here that try to gank people. Or they're just minding their own business. Okay, so I'd say you should farm here until, as a beginner, level 7. Level 7 to farm here. And yeah, that's quite a lot because that's like halfway to max level. Max level is level 20. And don't worry, you do not die of old age in this game. And your strength, fortitude, agility, intelligence, willpower, charisma. You guys can experiment with that. And then each time you level up, you guys will see like the different stuff it gives you. Or the cards and talents you'll get. Each time you level up. So now I'm going to be showing you guys a beginner place where you can actually train with an NPC. To help you out. To learn how to parry. And just get overall better at the game. Alright, you just want to go straight from here, and you will see that uh, little like tree over there. Now you guys might not have um, max graphics, so you just want to go like, I don't know, like from there diagonal across until you see those trees over there. Now I'm going to just skip to where I get there, because I'm pretty sure you guys can follow that this 
location up there. And for Lower Arisia, that uh, island over there, don't go up as high as you can. Because those are where, like, really strong monsters spawn and will kill you. And you'll just lose a life just like that. And by the way, each time you level up, you can actually restore a life. Which is pretty nice. Alright, now I'm gonna skip to where I get to lower, uh, now I'm gonna skip to where I get to that thing. Alright. Alright, just arrived here. Just climb up those ladders over here. And you're gonna reach the second, um, place you can spawn at. And, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys where the NPC is, where you can train at. And after this, I'm gonna show you guys how to escape the depths. If you're, um, if you ever die three times, or die two times. And I'm going to show you guys how to escape the depths after I explain this. So you just want to follow my path. You see that bridge right there? Make a left. When I get there, of course. Hold on. There you go. And now we're here. Make a right. Or nope. Go straight down. And now. You can always repair your armor, by the way. If you have the money. So now this is the trainer here. You talk to him. I want to spar. So just practice parrying. As soon as you see his weapon go back, just press F. That's how you parry. As soon as you see his weapon go back, it will just... Yeah. As soon as you see anything, just press F. Yeah. And then you just want to hit him back. Oh, I one-shot him. But every time you press F and you actually parry it, you'll see that like yellow particle effect. Then you always want to hit back. He might parry it too, and then he's gonna hit hit you. Every time you parry something, you have a free chance of hitting someone, and then they might parry it as well. So it's gonna just be a parry back and forth. And by the way, I forgot <laughs> I forgot um, that you have your critical. Press R. Mine's a unique critical. You're just gonna have a normal standard um, critical like this. Hold on. You're just gonna have a normal standard critical like this. Which is still good. It does hella posture, which can guard break you. So now I'm going to show you guys what to do when you're in the depths. Alright. So now when you're in the depths, you're going to spawn at one of these little tower things. And you want to have this opened as well. If you see any monsters, these things are okay. You don't have to leave. Just have this open as well. So anytime you see a monster, just press yes. Just play with this on. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to escape the depths real quick. So now, uh, always locate those um, castle, go those like big tower castle things, and those jellyfish are are safe, 100%. They have no attack patterns, and you can just hit them to death. Okay, so now you're gonna arrive at a castle. You might not arrive at one of these gates, but always go right. Okay, just for your guys' sake, I'm gonna go inside, and then this is the city of the drowned. Don't enter the city of the drowned, alright? Just go right at all costs. Like, never never go left. That's always a bad sign. And that's actually... Uh, that's actually, There's no way to escape if you go left. Unless you are a high-level player. And going left just leads, normally leads to dead ends. Now, I'm gonna just close this. Because I'm not, I don't need to uh, um, leave the game. Because... Once you actually like play the game a bit, you can actually memorize the attack patterns of monsters. So just keep on going right, and eventually you're going to see a gate. I'm going to go as fast as I can, but I don't want to speed things up for people who actually need the assistance. Okay, for, the, for this, you're going to know you're in the right place. That big bump, even though it looks like a lot, you can always dash against the wall like that. So when you when you go in the game, you're not going to have this like hold on. You're not going to have this air dash. Uh that's a talent where you can actually get by a quest. And if you search up on YouTube all talent quest in Deep Oaken, you can actually unlock many things. So I suggest you doing that. And I won't be able to fit in the glider in this video, but it's pretty simple. It's it's a location in Lower Arisia. And it's pretty easy to find. And I think you guys can explore Lower Arisia and find it yourselves. It's an NPC you talk to which will give you like a blueprint where you can turn into the blacksmith to get a... Like basically it's a, it's basically a substitute for armor. 
There's blueprints for a glider and blueprints for armor. Oh wait, where am I going? <laughs> My bad guys, I got carried away. Okay. So I'm gonna go out real quick and show you guys to enter the city. The, oh, the District of Commerce. If you see that thing, just leave the game. It does hella damage. Alright. Now you're gonna enter through here, these gates. Normally they're gonna be closed. And, which is a good part. Because I'm gonna show you guys another mechanic. So you wanna return to the main menu real quick. Alright. So, depending on where you live... I live in um, NA, which is North America, so I'm going to select my region, and yeah, once you select your region, just enter it, I suggest the smallest server, so um, nobody will try to kill you, but the smallest servers, the gates might not be opened, yeah exactly, it's not opened, but join the smallest servers in your region, trust me guys, you do not want to play Deep Oaken in another region, your ping will go insane. Just trust me on that. I learned from experience by wiping. So I'm going to just save you guys some hours. And just, um, yeah. Just listen to me and just select your region. Alright. Since I server hopped a while, I just couldn't find a gate where, uh, where a server where that thing is um, open. So if you're lucky, you're going to have people who bury, uh, who barrel stack. Which is basically just barrel stacking. And if you're lucky, just server hop for barrel stacks over here. And why did I drop that? Okay, what you're going to do is just jump on this, jump on here, and just climb up. So this way is kind of not guaranteed. But if you just server hop a lot for that gate, it will open. Guaranteed. It will just take a lot of time and effort. Because um, most deep game players have like talents and mantras. Basically, which allows them to just get over here through the gate really quickly. Alright, if you follow my path, you shouldn't get spotted by like those uh, watchers, aka like the people, like where the monsters that just stand on top of the buildings with like flashlights. If you get spotted, just run, because those angels that spawn will kill you. Anyways. You want to just uh, interact with that? Sure. You can come with me. Anyways. Uh, yeah, just interact with that thing. If you're level 1 through 7, I don't think you fought a monster. But they might change that. I think they might have changed that. I'm not sure. But you just want to come up here. And I know this guide um, is pretty, pretty, pretty solid in my opinion. Now Thorns is basically a modifier which allows you to like get more echoes and echoes are a currency which you, when you wipe you get like S tier, A tier, B tier. Echoes can be used to like purchase like um, better like stuff like for example if you have like low, low, what's it called, echoes like, I don't know how to explain this, they just give you more like capacity. For example, more water, you lose less water, so more capacity. And just like helpful benefits. Um, over time, you guys will get echoes, which is nice. So I have to fight a boss, or a mini boss, because I am level 20, which is max. And, yeah. Some monsters can have like those little effects, which makes them like stronger I guess like this guy is the ice effect oh yo yo recording luck yeah this guy blessed me up I got three star damage enforcer's axe anyways yes this is a good example if you're lucky they drop an enchant and enchants are basically just a normal weapon with extra damage or extra effects, which um, deals more damage, and, or it, it applies effects to players, which is very helpful. And 
I just got Enforcer Sacks. That's three stars damage. <laughs> and yeah, if you help players in this game, the game will bless you up. Um, just based on that fact, I just got the third Enforcer Sacks, which is pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. And yeah, if you guys want like a part two on this, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a part two on this because I explained everything a beginner needs to know. Um, Lower Rissia, I was vigils, like just guides and then hopefully that guides you to like good success on this game and of course there are more islands to progress and there are bosses to progress and you can also progress into depths if you feel confident willpower skills on your sanity the more willpower you have you don't like um get insane in the depths and the more insane you get into depths the more like i don't know the depths will kill you if you stay in there too long let's just say that Alright, um, let's see, any, any last words I can add? Um, there are many, um, oh, crap. Um, these perfect lenses, drip shards, these purple things you get, you can modify your mantras. I'll just show you guys real quick. I have a Chime of Dwelling, which is basically my guild. I had to re-record this part because my recording crashed. So yeah, um, I was going to say, it'd be nice if you joined my Discord server, because I'm just trying to revive it. It's been three months since I uploaded a video, and I'm just trying to get back on the grind, you feel me? And it, um, I can help you out on Deep Woken. We're a community Discord server, so I don't always play Deep Woken, but I can help you out, and you can join my guild if you'd like. And yeah, I'm gonna show you how to uh, mantra modify with these like purple thingies. So you don't have to enter. This is my base, and you just sit down at a campfire and just make sure it, the mantra thingy looks like this. You can do it in Etrus at the um, uh, mantra shop. They have one. So go to your mantras and then just go to dash or any mantras that you would like to modify. So dash and then I have like a reversal spark, perfect lens. This is not going to work, this is just for showcase. If you modify something, it improves the mantra, it could deal more damage, it could be longer, it could be shorter, it could be faster. Like all of that. And yeah, that's all I got to say. I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it because this video took a while to make and yeah i uh, appreciate you guys for watching all the way through you guys are the real ones and thank you guys so much for watching and peace